Yeah, I hate to quote one of your former colleagues, but dollar's still king. Yeah, it is, right? I think it's a combination of Fed tightening, uh, uh, the fiscal stimulus we have. This is a great policy mix. Any country that pursues this policy mix get a stronger currency. It's just a question of time and how you want to play it. Other than in the major currencies, what's been most notable? I mean, the yuan has been interesting as well. Yeah, too. China's been falling almost every day, despite the central bank trying to lift it and fixing it higher for the last couple of days. But here's what's really going on in China, I think. Leaving aside the politics, three months Shibor, Shibor that's like the interbank offered rate in, in Beijing or in Shanghai, is continuing to falling. It's fallen about, uh, I want to say, about 15 basis points this week alone. So while they are trying to steady the currency, they're letting rates fall, and this is still not helping the stock market. So they're still in a bind here. So when do we get scared about emerging market currencies and, and the systemic risk to the, the, to the whole financial system? I don't think we have to be afraid of that. No? I think that mostly it's localized. I think most people are out of Turkey already. Uh, Turkey has been a basket case most of the year. There Turkey are some too, hot yeah. spots in the emerging markets that are doing well. Mexican peso, despite uh, who's going to build the wall kind of issues, Mexican peso is among the strongest of the emerging market currencies. Because of the talk that we might actually get a deal done with Mexico. I think that's part of it. I think that Mexican peso is rallying before that as well. I think that uh, people are surprised that AMLO, the new president, is not as anti-business as people might have originally thought. All right, Bob, uh, it, Mark mentioned the rates, and, and your view on gold is that it's going to be tough to sustain any rally as long as, uh, as the Fed is, is hiking. It's going to be very tough because the dollar is king, and gold right now is priced in dollars. And, you know, you have a Fed, uh, a Fed meeting coming up in less than a month where you most likely are going to get a Fed rate hike. I think the chances are above 97% right now. Um, if you're going long gold right now, keep in mind you're going to be fighting that for the next month, uh, the fact that a rate hike is most likely coming in September. If you go out even further, look to December. December, it's priced in about 71% that a rate hike is coming. And gold uh, does not earn interest. And uh, if you're buying gold right now, uh, most of the safe haven assets will go into treasuries with, those, uh, with the hikes coming down the pipe. And, you know, the dollar, I think the rest of the year, uh, you got to stay with the dollar right now for upside. And uh, with gold, if you see, you know, if there's these, these rallies we do see are short-lived, look to short them. You know, it, we asked for a long time, why doesn't gold act like safe haven anymore the way it used to, right? But, Joe, did you see these stories about what is, speaking of Iran, the Iranians yeah, are I, hoarding gold, right? They are absolutely, for them, it's a safe haven. Well, right. Got it is. Nothing else, but what other, choice, what other choice do they have right now? Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. What other choice do they have? The interesting thing, I think, though, is even though the dollar is getting stronger, gold is weaker, there's other commodities that are priced in dollars that aren't getting weaker, like, like oil. Oil is still pretty firm, and we're looking for that new, uh, the new numbers today, another drawdown in inventories. Yeah, I mean, and oil is higher just on the risk premium. I mean, with the, the news out of Iran, uh, coupled with tighter supply uh, concerns, yeah, oil is trading higher. The question I get asked a lot lately is, why is gold not trading higher, considering... The, uh, the trade talks and the, the sanctions and the trade talk. And it is, it's right now, it's the Fed. You're going to fight the Fed when it comes to gold. Mm -hmm. Other commodities are doing other things. Grains are trading lower with sanctions. But when it comes to gold right now, uh, at the end of the day, all these stories will come and go. Well, but at the end of the day, it's always going to be the Fed.